is if your android phone is uh, randomly shutting down or restarting itself then here is the fix for the very first fix is make sure uh, check that whether your android phone is updated to the latest version of android or not so for that just go to settings and search software update okay just search software update in the setting panel and go to software updates make sure auto download is selected and tap on download and install and check whether your android phone is uh, upgraded to the latest version or not if it is not the case if it is the case download and install the latest version now the second thing is to check is and just in the setting search storage okay and in the storage make sure that at least 5% data is left okay not more than 95 or 99% data is used if it is the case you if you don't have uh, uh, you know storage left then what you can do you can delete some large sized video files or large size files from your phone to make up the space now the third thing is you can uh, that third fix is you should wipe cache partition in android and it will delete corrupt temporary system files in android so how to do this so for uh, for that you have to go to the recovery mode of your phone so if uh, for samsung it's very easy to go to recovery mode for other android phone also you can google it what is the process to go to the recovery mode they are a little bit different so just shut down the Samsung first, okay? If it is a Samsung phone, just power off the Samsung device first. Once it gets powered off completely, then what you can do, you can connect it to a computer through a USB cable, okay? And now what you have to do, you have to press the volume up button and the power button together okay this is the power button this is volume up and this is volume down we have to press the volume up and power button together okay and wait for few seconds until we see the recovery screen okay so this is the recovery screen now using the volume up or down button we can select anything so what we will do we will just tap on wipe cache partition once we have selected it it's in blue now we tap tap the you know uh, power button and then just select yes tap again and it will wipe cache partition it has been done it's complete now reboot system now it's selected tap on it and it will reboot your system okay you can disconnect the power cable if you want and now check whether your issue is resolved or not okay now if this also does not fix your issue then what you can do you can try opening or try restarting your phone in safe mode and if in safe mode it is working well then there may be a corrupt update or in a, a corrupt app which is causing this issue okay so first of all you have to make sure that uh, all the apps are updated in your phone okay if you tap on play store and now tap on your profile icon tap on manage apps and device okay tap on manage and now tap on updates available so there are these this much amount of apps which need update select all the updates which needs updates and you know you have to update this device uh, these apps okay maybe because of an incompletely updated or not updated app this issue is occurring okay so this is also one of the method with which 
you can fix this issue now if all of this fails then the last resort for you is to do a factory reset so just go to settings and just type factory reset data reset tap on factory data reset okay and tap on reset to reset your phone to the default factory version and your problem will be fixed so that's it guys please do like the video to support us and thanks for watching the geek page